Hi, welcome to the Vapor Cup instructional video. Your Vapor Cup comes out of the box with everything you need to get started, including tools and your various straw options. First, let me identify some of the parts of the Vapor Cup we'll be talking about today. First up, there's the storage lid. This just seals in the odors when you put your Vapor Cup away. Next is the screw cap. This screws down over the heat chamber and is where you attach your various straw options. Next is the screw top. This screws down over the seal ring to create an airtight seal. The seal ring sits on top of the heat chamber. It creates an airtight seal with the screw top and also acts as a heat barrier. The charging base is a stand where your vapor cup sits while it's charging. The display on the front of the cup is where you see the temperature reading and you find the control buttons. The vapor cup's easy to read display can show the temperature in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. And you can see the current battery level on the left hand side of the screen next to the temperature. To turn on the heat, just press the large power button on the front of the cup. There's a small light at the top of the display panel, which will show red when heating and green when it's ready to use. To adjust the heat up or down, just use the small buttons on the display. Minus goes down, plus goes up. Now let's talk about operating the vapor cup. And the first thing you want to do is turn on the master power. Turn your cup upside down and identify the on off button. Switch to the on position. Next, just press the power button on the display. This will start the heater. The small status light will be red while charging and green when it reaches the proper temperature. Now to turn the temperature up, just hit the plus button. To push the temperature down, just hit the minus button. As the temperature changes, the status light will turn red. When it reaches the proper temperature, it'll be green. There are two ways you can use the vapor cup. First, there's the glass straw method. This is our preferred method of use because it's quick and clean. Your glass straw has a small chamber at one end. Place a screen in the hole at the end of the chamber. Then use the plastic cleaning pick or the tamper tool to push the screen down into the chamber. Grind your herbs, then use the scoop tool to place them in the end of the chamber, about half to three quarters of the way up. Lightly tamp it down, but not enough to restrict airflow. Now you're ready to prepare your vapor cup. First you want to remove the storage lid. Then turn the screw cap counterclockwise and remove. You won't need the screw cap in this method. Now that you have access to the heat chamber, insert the glass tube directly in with the material down. Now you're ready to go. If you want a little extra discretion and privacy, you can put the storage lid back. That completes the coffee cup look. The second way you can use the vapor cup is the plastic straw and cap method. First, remove the storage lid. Then unscrew the screw cap by turning counterclockwise and lifting it out. Now you take your ground herbs with your scoop tool and pour them directly into the heat chamber. Fill it about three quarters of the way up and then use the tamper tool to lightly pack it down. Not too tight though. Now just put your screw cap back on, turning it counterclockwise, not too tight, and then add your plastic straw to the nib at the top of the screw cap. And you're ready to go. Like before, if you want a little privacy, put back on the storage lid. If you like to vape a little hotter, try using the hot mouth tip. It works really well. It's very comfortable and the slightly tighter pull makes for a higher heat. When you're done, just remove the straw, remove the storage lid, turn the screw cap counterclockwise, and remove it. Now you can just turn over the vapor cup into a small receptacle like a glass or a mug and most of the materials will just fall straight out. If you have some stubborn bits of herbs that don't want to come out, just use the long cleaning brush or the cleaning pick. When you're ready to clean the vapor cup, make absolutely sure that it is turned fully off and allowed to cool completely. This is very easy to do. First, just press the big button on the front to turn off the heater. Turn the cup over and make sure that the master power switch is turned to the off position. Once the vapor cup is completely cooled, Remove the storage lid, take the cup's screw top, and turn it counterclockwise. 
until the heat chamber and seal ring are revealed. Now, very carefully lift out the seal ring. It is a rubber ring on top of the heat chamber. Now that the heat chamber is exposed, you can carefully lift out the removable stainless steel inner heating chamber. This steel chamber can be submerged in alcohol and come out sparkling clean. The brass outer heat chamber should be left alone, but you could clean it with alcohol and a Q-tip if you wish. Once your stainless steel heat chamber is clean, simply slide it back into the outer brass chamber. Now, replace the seal ring making sure the indentations are down and the smooth part is on the top. Lightly pat it down just to make sure it sits well. Now put the screw top back on by turning it clockwise. You'll want to make sure the screw top goes all the way down, but not too tight. Now you're ready to go. To change the screen in the heat chamber, use the plastic cleaning pick to pry out the old screen. Place your new screen on top of the heat chamber and use your tamper tool to push it to the bottom. Now your vapor cup is clean and ready for use again. All you gotta do is put your screw cap back and you're ready to go. On occasion you might want to change the screens on your screw cap. Just turn it over, remove the small screen cap, now use the back end of your tamper tool or the cleaning pick to just gently push the screen out. Take your new screen and place it on the inside of the screen cap and lightly tamp it down with the tamper tool. Put it back on the bottom side of the screw cap and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching our instructional video. We hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions, just come to our website at vaporcup.com. There you'll find a downloadable PDF instruction manual that shows things very clearly. We really hope you enjoy your vapor cup. Relax and enjoy.